Over the last few years, you've seen our international revenues grow quite well. And if you see the composition today, then 40% of our revenues come from the international markets. And going forward, we expect that our international business will grow faster, largely because of the lower base that it has. And hence, probably in a few years' time, we would see that the contribution of the international business will grow, will grow from 40% today to maybe 50%. It obviously doesn't mean that the focus is not there in the, Indian, in the Indian business. If you see the largest contribution, the big green pie there, then 55% of our revenues come from our India formulation business and that will continue to be part of the focus. In fact, the other way of looking at the business is pharma very broadly we can break up into selling of medicines and selling of the raw material or the API as we call it. And clearly we wish to be present globally as a company that can manufacture and market its own medicines, its own formulations. And that forms close to 85% of our revenues today. And that's also a part of the business that's growing faster than the uh, raw material sales or the API sales. So basically, uh, going forward, we see uh, ourselves as a larger international company and a company that is more focused on the finished dosage or the formulation business rather than the API sales. In terms of geography, then India is the largest geography for us. 60% uh, of our revenues come from here and the second largest geography for us is the US market. Uh, six years back that contributed only 2% to our total revenues and that's up to 21% today. And going forward we expect that 21% that will keep increasing. We will go into the details of each of these segments subsequently in the presentation. I, I, I think the philosophy has been to be in businesses and to create revenue streams, profit streams, which are sustainable over the long term. This may sound very bookish, maybe very theoretical, very academic, but I think if you look at our businesses, then each of the businesses has its own sustainability. If we talk of the India business, the formulation business that we have here, we are the market leaders in most of the segments that we are presented, market leaders whether we talk of prescription share or we talk of the market share. Our focus has been consistently on the chronic therapies. We have been present in neurology, psychiatry. In fact, psychiatry was a segment that Sun Pharma started off with 25 years back with just a handful of products. So psychiatry, neurology, cardiology, diabetology, we are present in all of these segments and several others. And we have focused, we have expanded our product offerings, the number of medicines that we offer in each of these segments. And that has helped us build consistency in our revenue streams, consistency in our market share, our performance. Generic markets, or as we call uh, the, the pharma market in India, uh, again, let me just take another minute and uh, go into the details of this. Globally, there are large companies who develop their own drugs and then they bring these drugs to market. And that's based on the patented technology, the patented products that we have. If you look at the entire Indian market, Indian market has products which are all reverse engineered products, products which are equivalents of these global products that are launched by the big pharma worldwide. And any generic product uh, would have a lot of competition because the entry barriers are relatively low. So even if you look at the Indian market, uh, today it would be if you look at the domestic formulation business, it would be totally about 30,000 crores. But there are more than 20,000 companies competing for that business. The largest company in the sector has just about 5% market share. So it's a very fragmented market, very competitive market. And every day, every moment, companies need to think of ways by which they can differentiate themselves in this crowded marketplace. And one of the dimensions that we have worked on quite well is bringing products which are relatively more complex. We believe that we have ability to bring such products to market and probably if we are first to market or if we bring really products which are superior to what others can bring, then with the customers in the marketplace, with the patients, I think we can differentiate ourselves and that would help us build a very strong relationship and hence a longer revenue stream.